Hi, I'm Joe Barbito here at Historic Matthews Arena for the Doghouse 20th anniversary celebration. 20 years ago, Justin Harriman founded the Doghouse as a way to celebrate Northeastern hockey at every home game. Since then, it has grown into one of the biggest artifacts and traditions here on Northeastern's campus. Today, we're going to see what some people, uh, students, and alumni think about the Doghouse. I'm here with Justin Harriman, the founder of the Doghouse. So, Justin, 20 years ago, you decided to unleash this mayhem onto the world. Why'd you do it? Uh, so we were asked to move up to the balcony at the end of my freshman year by the coach Bruce Crowder. Uh, we had spent the entire season behind the bench, uh, and then he kind of had us in the varsity club at the end of the season to uh, to kind of thank us, and then said, "Hey, why don't you guys move up to the balcony?" Yeah. And uh, it's been there. <laughs> then we stayed up there ever since. Was that a wet Willie or a dry Danny? It was a <laughs> dry Danny. Yes. I'm here with Mike and Zach, uh, two Doghouse alums. Guys, uh, can you start me off with some of your favorite doghouse memories? Uh, early on, when I, I think it was my sophomore or freshman year, they had dueling goalie chants uh, for the BC goalie when the doghouse and the donghouse were filled to capacity. And they delayed the start of, this, of the second period because it was so loud. The players didn't hear the buzzer. So that was pretty cool. But the top thing has to be winning Hockey East. It happened my senior year. I was running the doghouse. He was my right-hand man. And that was, without a doubt, the best night of my life. Uh, I think probably my favorite would be my sophomore year. Uh, we were playing BU, and I think a couple of the guys had just got attacked off campus, some incident at BU. Uh, so, we, you know, we did the Benny Hill thing, so we had a guy dress up as in a BU jersey, and we were doing the Benny Hill skit during a timeout. I think we might have even been winning the game, which was rare. Uh, but we got to the end, crossed from the balcony uh, where the doghouse is, and we just started beating down that guy uh, in the BU jersey with hammers and uh, bats and stuff. It was wild. I think Jack Parker looked up and saw it. I don't think he was too pleased with what was going on. We had about 1,000 to 1,500 people in TD Garden before our game even started. Uh, you're laughing. You already know this. Uh, we wanted the first game to end so that we could start playing because it was already almost midnight. And we started singing 99 bottles of beer on the wall. We had every student in the entire section involved. We got all the way down to one bottle of beer on the wall. And then immediately UMass Lowell scored. The whole house went nuts. We were cheer cheering louder than any Lowell fan. Senior marketing work study student Jared Jacobson, a veteran of these parts of Historic Matthews Arena. Jared, give me one of your dirtiest stories. Uh, there's dust some places. Can you guys each name your favorite uh, Northeastern player from your time in Northeastern? Oh, can I? Oh, um, oh, oh, this is our, oh, this is both of our oh, favorite Oh, players. can I? Uh, oh, Tanner yeah. Pond, Tanner. Uh, number 22, now playing in the ECHL. Uh, grinder, plays the game hard. Really does. Uh, first, first one in, last one out of the gym, really. It's a real gym rat. Uh, can you tell me one of your favorite players that you've seen at Northeastern? God, uh, I really like watching Zach Aston Reese, obviously. He was just like... Blew the place up. Whenever he was around, we were having a lot of fun. Was he snubbed of the Hobie Baker? Yes, absolutely. I don't accept that he didn't win the Hobie Baker. It's just he won the Hobie Baker. He falls down on the ice because he's trying so hard. He tries to hit somebody, and just he almost takes the boards out with him. You know, it's a real hockey guy through and through. I mean, you talk about hockey guys, Tanner Pond is the first person to come to mind. We're, and we're hockey guys, guys. Yeah, we are hockey we're guys, hockey guys, guys, guys yes. and Tanner is the hockey guy. Yeah, T Tanner, if you, ever, if you ever actually see this video, Tanner, I miss you. All right, Tanner Pond, Mike Davis misses you. Can you tell me what the doghouse means to you? The doghouse is just a big family. It's just a group of kids who are all obsessed with sports, and they really just love to be there and want to be there. And they're just, I see them, and I'm like, we go to games together. It's a lot of fun. Uh, a couple of words. It means family. It means rowdy. It means experience. And it means home for me. To me, it's just like a place where you've got to like come and have a lot of fun and make fools of themselves just for the hell of it. I mean, we go up there and we yell anything we feel like that day, and it's crazy. I think I just always grew up seeing the doghouse, um, saw, like, I don't know, the fans, the camaraderie, and then when I became a student, it's where I wanted to be. I mean, the doghouse is family. I mean, we've gotten so many generations of, of doghouse leaders, kids that came, supported, yelled. It's just one big continuing family. You know, Zamboni guys, how do you like the Zamboni guys? Oh, they're amazing. Make, they make the best ice in hockey east. The best ice? Yeah, no doubt. Better than the, the ice at Historic Aganis Arena? Yeah. Better than the ice at Conti Forum? Yeah. The Olympic sized ice at not the Wit? Yeah. Go to Moore Center? Yeah. Merrimack? Yeah. All of them. The Doghouse, old enough to drive, not old enough to drink, still full of memories for so many people. As we learned here today, it's rowdy, it's rambunctious, and it's loud. But it's something that a lot of people have very fond memories of and look forward to when they come to Northeastern Games. For NUTV Sports, I've been Joe Barbito.